Hey there, this is Simran from Simran Isles Academy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, आज आप एक स्पीकिंग इंटरव्यू शूट कर जा रहे हैं ऑफ आई ई एल टी एस एग्जाम एक बहुत ही स्पैशल स्टूडेंट का जो बहुत दूर तो मेरी अकेडमी के पढ़ने वास्ते आए हैं ही बिलोंग्स टू डिस्ट्रिक चरखी दादरी स्टेट हरियाणा सो अच आप इन्हों का इंटरव्यू शूट करके एट द एंड आई वुड डेफिनेटली गिव द फीडबैक कि स्टूडेंट किन्ने बैंड को डिजर्व करते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रजेंटेड इंटरव्यू सो लैट्स बिगिन This is IELTS speaking test. The examiner name is Simran Kaur with examiner number zero eight two three five four. The candidate name is Ashwini Kumar with candidate number zero five two three four two one. May I know your full name, please? My full name is Ashwini Sharma. How may I address you? You may address me by my first name, Ashwini. Can I see your ID, please? Sure, ma'am. Here it is. Thank you. All right, Ashwini. Where do you come from? I belong to a very small village, which names Bhanwa, which is under Charkhi Dadri district of Haryana province in India. Do you work or study? Well, I am a student, and at present I am working on my communication skills. And I had done my graduation from science field in 2019. What subjects have you studied in your previous education? I have studied mathematics, physics, chemistry, and English was my additional subject. All right. So, in the part one of your speaking test, I would uh, like to ask some questions from you. So, let's talk about accommodation. Do you live in a house or a flat? Well, honestly speaking, we live in a house, and it is a two-story brick house. Can you describe it a little? well home my home my house is very beautiful and we have a front yard and a backyard and two with a two with two rooms and at a kitchen and two bathrooms uh, first one is on ground floor and another one is on first floor mm -hmm. okay who do you live with i'm living there with my parents my father my mother my sister and my grandfather how long have you lived there well as far as i know uh, as my father told me that we live there since uh, 1945 All right. So let's talk about furniture. Do you have a lot of furniture in your home? No, in my home there is not uh, a lot of furniture. We have basic things in my home. In my home, like chair and table and bed. Is there anyone who bought furniture for you? Well, most of the time, my father and my mother go for shopping, like uh, whatever they want to shop, like uh, furniture or any grocery item. so all the shoppings done by my parents okay what kind of furniture would you like to buy well i never specifically thought about it but most of the time i prefer to purchase wooden articles which are like table or chair all right so let's talk about reading do you like reading yes i have keen interest in reading books uh, like comic and romantic books do you like to read at home or in other places most of the time i prefer to read at my institute or sometimes in the library because the concentration i can do easily concentrate on my subjects okay in what places do you think it is difficult to read well it is well said that on the noisy places it, it is very difficult for us to concentrate like on the public places like railway stations and bus stands all right do you like to read by yourself or with other people well honestly speaking i don't prefer to read with anyone because i get easily distracted whenever i whenever i am reading with another person so i prefer to read alone all right so let's talk about music do you like to listen to music yes definitely i love to music where i prefer to listen music to rejuvenate my mind how often do you listen to music frequently i listen music two or three times in a day whenever i feel suffocated or irritated on that time i prefer to rejuvenate my mind with the help of a music all right who is your favorite singer my favorite singer is Babu Man and Siddhu Muse Wala. All right. So that's the end of your part 1. So in the part 2 I would provide you with one topic. So your topic is that describe an aquatic animal. You have to say what it looks like when you saw it, where you saw it and explain why it is interesting. Here is paper and pen. You can use it. Remember you have 1 minute to prepare it and your time starts now.
all right so that's the end of its preparation time now you have to speak for 1 to 2 minute on the given topic don't worry if i stop you in between i would like you to speak now okay well i'm not that much familiar with a lot of aquatic species but here i would like to talk about crocodiles i know a little bit about such as uh, whales and dolphins and crocodiles uh, i am familiar with this fascinating animal since my school time i really remember when i was in my 10th standard on that time our school organized a trip to uh, a national park uh, gir national park which is in uttarakhand on that time i found crocodiles very special because one of my teachers told me that crocodiles are the one of those species who survived the asteroid attack that wiped out the 2 250 million population of cro- uh, dinosaurs on that time anyways crocodiles are generally congregate in freshwater habitats such as river ponds and wetlands and sometimes in brackish water and one more interesting thing about the crocodiles is that the width of their upper and lower jaw is same due to which all the teeth of crocodiles are visible which makes them more scary and more beautiful uh, my teacher told me that crocodiles are present on earth since the evolutionary period and the skin of these meat eating animals is very popular for the fashion industry because a lot of handbags and carry bags are made up of the skin of crocodiles which are status symbol for the wealthy people uh, the all the crocodiles are carnivores they generally depend on feeding other aquatic species like fish mammals and reptiles totally depending on their age and size because they also have afraid of them if the if they will go for eating a big animal then definitely it will harm the croco- crocodiles species so all in all this is all about a aquatic animal which i have seen in my life and i found it was very interesting all right so can i have it please okay so as we were talking about aquatic animal i would like to ask some more general questions related to aquatic animal in part 3 so why do people like to keep pets well there are two reasons behind this um, uh, as as you well said that uh, animal animals are good companions of human beings some people like to have a pet um, with the reason of security because whenever they go from their house anywhere then they prefer to left their ho- house on the be- to the pets mm-hmm. and some people like to have pets for for love and affection because they love to spend their quality time with their pets and th- they show their love for the pets all right what should we do to protect endangered animals well it could be done with the help of mutual efforts of government and society we can aware those people who are not well known about the effects that if the species got extinct from the earth then what could be the danger on earth on us so we should uh, can create uh, awareness among them and also we can impose we can donate some in charity funds which are run by the government for the protection or pre- preservation of aqua- aquatic or any other species all right do you support doing experiments on animals well honestly speaking i don't think so i uh, i don't like to do experiments on pets because they cannot speak and they cannot express their feelings so it is totally a cruelty on them to do experiments and even it can harm their whole species and their whole whole life and also can harm the ecological system of earth all right so why do some people res- uh, refuse to eat animals well some people do not like to eat animals on reasonable ground and some people do not like to eat because they are well known about these things that they, they can get equal amount of nutrients from the plants or from other other things like for instance john abraham is a famous celebrity in india who is a nice gym guy and even he is purely vegetarian he do not eat any kind of non veg items all right so that's the end of your speaking thank you okay so it was a quite wonderful interview candidate ne lexical resources bahut hi acche use kite hain as well as cube card part was the best because bahut hi achhi story build up sigi connectors da use bahut vadiya siga kite vi edda feel nahi hoya ki oh repetition kar reha hai but thodi ji pronunciation of the words may be due to the mother tongue or accent de karan thodi ji problem sigi par ode karke inne bands ko deduct nahi hunde so according to the given interview candidate definitely 7 plus band scores deserve karda hai so let's see how much he scores in the final examination so is तरह दिया होर वीडियोस देखने के लिए कि प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड अबाउट द अपकमिंग वीडियोस थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट